Everybody, it's Hobby Starcher coming at you with a subscription box um, video. This is from Junk Wax, Junk Wax Box. Um, one of the cool things I saw about this was that they're doing chaser packs, and this month's chaser packs are for King Griffey Jr. So we've got some real some good packs that has the potential for his rookie card, especially this bad boy right here, um, 1989. Upper Deck, one of the most iconic sets ever. So what you find in these boxes is they'll have um, a few packs that are designated for the, the rookie card that you're looking for, but also some other packs from other sports in here as well. So what we'll do is we got an 89 Fleer, 89 Upper Deck. That'll be the last one we open, obviously. We've got an 89 Donruss, and we've got an 89 Bowman. And then we've got some football and basketball packs in here too. So we'll go through and open these up first. So I hope everybody's doing well. This box, um, you can get a subscription of it, I believe for around 30, I think it's 30 bucks a month for different series. So I've got the next series, which is a Derek Jeter chase. That was in the May version. This is the April version. But I bought these as single purchases for $35. Still not a bad deal considering the, the number of packs that you're getting and the quality of packs. So we're going to look at a 91-92 NBA Hoops. Obviously, we're looking for Jordan cards in here and any other Hall of Famers. I'm not a huge basketball person, but I do know the good ones when I see them, especially that dude right there, Magic Johnson. Tom Chambers, Sam Perkins, There's Kevin McHale, Hall of Famer, Presley, Kevin Johnson, another Magic Johnson, that's a cool base, Carl Malone, and Joe Dumars. I don't know. I'm not an expert on Hall of Famers. Somebody can correct me. I'm not sure if Joe Dumars is a Hall of Famer or not. I know he's part of that Pistons regime. Let's see here. We've got 94 Skybox. And some of the vintage basketball guys will know whether or not these packs are good or not. I mean... Well, that dude on the back's good. There's a nice Reggie Miller. Dan Marley. Tim Hardaway. Steve Smith. Derek Coleman. Card with the international rules. Joe Dumars again. Derek Coleman. Nice shit. Shaq card. That's sweet. Mark Price. And Larry Johnson. I thought it said magic on the back. Guess I was wrong. Okay, here's NBA Hoops. And I'm not sure what year this is. 90. Garbage pack, garbage bags. Charles Smith, Kenny Smith, nice Barkley. Phil Jackson from back in the day. If you haven't seen that Lakers deal on HBO, that's pretty cool. Kevin Johnson, of course they say it's all crap, but still fun to watch. Mike Dunleavy, Lester Connor, Pooh Richardson, Ricky Carr. And there's the, oh, we got the Menendez Brothers card. Oh, that's scary. Stu Jackson and Terry Tiggle. So here's the Menendez Brothers card on the Mark Jackson. There they are back there in the back. 
supposedly that it wasn't very long before they killed their parents. So it's kind of an infamous sighting there. So, wow. I don't know if I need to put that on the stand, but I guess I will. Okay. Anyway, got to give me the chills thinking about that. All right, here we go. 92 Series 2 Football Stadium Club. I don't think I've ever opened one of these. I don't think who all would know that would be a rookie in 92. And these are sticking just a hair. Still got the big um, shoulder pads in these. There's a Todd Marinovich. Dude that was bred to be an NBL. Here was two. Here's my proverbial two kicker cards that I always get every time I open up football. Mark Jackson. Yeah, Marinovich was supposedly bred to be an NFL quarterback, and he kind of burned out when he actually became one. There's a nice Barry Sanders. Bunch of linemen in the, in the stack. So Barry Sanders was the cool one out of that. And Upper Deck 92 Football Series 2. Hope everybody's week's going well. I know it's just Tuesday, but I'm hoping it will hurry up and get over with. Here's David Klingler. Cool looking cards. Upper deck never disappoints in my opinion. Alvin Harper. Nice Joe Montana card. And Boomer Sison. So a couple of Hall of Famers in there. So now on to the baseball. We're looking for Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards. And hopefully we can uh, get some out. So let's go first. My least favorite is the Bowman, just because they're the big cards and I just never have really liked them. But then again, this is when Bowman started back up making cards again after a long hiatus. I can never can read the scribble names on there. We love the checklist. Duke Snyder reprint. Eric Clunk. That's Ozzy Gian. And Gerald Perry to end us up. Okay, let's do 89 Donruss. Got some other rookies in here besides King Griffey. Got a Schilling rookie card in here and John Smoltz. Biggio, Warren Spawn puzzle piece. Dale Murphy. Sid Breen, Bruce Benedict, and Luis Salazar to end us up. Now let's do 89 Fleer, Ken Griffey Jr., John Smoltz, and, uh, Billy Ripken F face card, Lock this set, Washington, Darling. 
Sisk. Jim Ross Hall of Famer. Palmero. So Jim Ross is the only Hall of Famer that we've pulled out of two of those packs. So here is the 89 upper deck. And looking for that big boy. You know, we also have the <coughs> Excuse me, a possibility of Randy Johnson and John Smoltz. And King Griffey is the number one card in this set. There's Frank Viola. Love the set. Kurt Flood. Herbeck. There's a cow. Hinneman. Paul Gibson, and get our hologram stickers, got a Mets and a Dodgers, cool, I need me another Dodgers one, Rick Roden, Dickie Thong, Randy Milligan, Hinky, Lamp, and Mike Morgan, so not too much to get excited about, but it was still really cool opening those packs. Got more Hall of Famers out of the basketball and football, and then the infamous Menendez Brothers card. So anyway, fun, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Please like the video, and uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hope everybody has a good rest of your day. Hobby Searcher out.